Trump lied? Say it isn't so. Well, actually, PolitiFact rated Trump 19% mostly false, 34% false, and 17% pants on fire false, for a total of 80% lies. Yeah, he lied. It's a habit with this guy. And he continues to lie. On Friday, he claimed credit for ensuring that a Lincoln automobile plant would be kept in Kentucky, preventing the job loss disaster that would have happened if Ford had decided to move the plant to Mexico. That would be great, except that Ford never considered having the plant anywhere but in Kentucky. Trump had absolutely nothing to do with Ford's decision about plant location. Trumpian dishonesty is a constant, and it will take a huge toll on American culture, our people, and our safety in the world. Significant risks will occur when Trump slathers his fatuous dishonesty on foreign leaders. They won't take kindly to it, and the safety of the world will be at risk as he undermines international trust. And we most certainly won't like it when he lies to us about whatever he agrees to as he fawns over Vladimir Putin. What will happen to justice in America, which he claims to champion, like the right of every citizen to vote? when Trump makes racist segregationist Jeff Sessions the Attorney General. What will happen to America's national security, the very same security that he brayed he will be the best at protecting, when Trump picks for his national security advisor, hyperbolic Michael Flynn, a retired three-star general who was forced to retire from the military and from his position as the director of the Defense Intelligence Agency because of his flagrantly extremist behavior. What happens to our freedoms when Trump's ubermeister, white supremacist Steve Bannon, starts registering Muslims and rounding up Hispanics to shuttle them off to who knows where? What happens to the climate of the entire planet now that we have a global warming denier-in-chief? People are already being hurt. Read the two most recent blog posts and the comments associated with them. I've been accused of helping to drive the polarization of this country. I don't know if I'm doing that, but if I am, look for me on the poll labeled Facts, Reality, and Equal Justice. I acknowledge that nothing bad has happened yet on the Trump national policy level. On the other, on the other hand, the preparations for very bad things to occur are happening in front of us right now, and to refuse to see that is self-defeating for this nation. It may be disastrous for our minorities. We need to take action. I'm in discussion with some clergy people about what we can do to address the interpersonal hate that is oozed from slimy places under the fragile rocks of American tolerance. There's a petition going around now urging the members of the Electoral College to vote for Hillary, as most are under no e legal obligation to vote according to their state's voting outcomes. Go ahead, click through, sign it, and pass this post to your friends, urging them to do the same. Make your voice heard. What else can we do? Put your ideas in the comments section below. Help us all. I'm Jack Alshuler.